गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम राजेंद्र प्रसाद एंड एट प्रेजेंट यू आर व्यूइंग माय चैनल राज फोटो टेक इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू गिव सिनेमैटिक कलर ग्रेडिंग इफेक्ट टू योर फोटोग्राफ्स इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव योर ओन स्टाइल इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स विच गिव्स ए यूनिक लुक टू योर फोटोज एंड मेक्स दम डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द फोटोज ऑफ अदर फोटोग्राफर्स there is a technique used in movie industry to give a specific look to the movie you might have seen this effect in the movie matrix this is created by color grading the movie using lut the same technique is now being used in the still photographs to create a distinctive professional hollywood movie look you can see an example here on the desktop color grading adds a creative color correction to tell a story there are no rules as what colors should be used or how they should be used this is completely up to you and the story that you are telling with your photographs if you want to have your own style or look you will have to create it yourself there are many techniques to create color grading or cinematic effect some can take few seconds and some can take hours but the simplest way to do that is by using the color lookup table or simply called luts this is also known as color grading in this tutorial i am going to show you how to use and create the lut most photoshoppers don't know that photoshop comes loaded with some great default luts and there are plenty more available on the net some of them are free and some you will have to purchase Some of the sources of free LUTs are Lutify Me, Rocket Stock, etc., which you can find on the net. Now let us see how we can use the LUTs in Photoshop. For this, I have already opened a photograph which you are seeing on the screen. If the layer panel is not already open, click the shortcut F7 to open it. Now click on the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layer panel and choose. color look up this will create a new color look up adjustment layer as you are seeing on the screen and the panel of color look up will open select 3d lut file option click on its right side to open a list of 3d luts a list will open as you are seeing on the desktop <clears throat> and this lets you to choose any 3d lut to apply to your image play around and try different default luts and see what happens i am showing you here the effect of some luts on the image that i have already opened you can see that in minutes you can apply luts to create cinematic effects i am using these luts you can see them this is three strip look candle light crips warm look crips winter look drop blue foggy night futuristic blue horror blue late sunset moonlight teal orange there are also many lets presents inside abstract and device link click them to open and you can also use any one of the lets present inside it use them also such as in abstract i am using backlight poster gold crimson green red it is the easiest method to create cinematic effects some luts will look better on low key images while others work better on high key ones others still work well only for the images that already have a particular feel or toner range it is really a process of trial and error to find the correct fit since we have applied 3d luts in adjustment layers we can do many things to alter it for example i am applying edge umber lut and you now simply adjust the opacity of the entire layer and see now it looks better similarly experiment with other luts now i am changing the blend mode of the color look up layer and you can see that you can get unique effects from the same lut
Now add a hue saturation adjustment layer on the top of your color lookup layer and change the parameter to get a different look. I am toggling its sliders and you can see that you can get different effect here. In this way, you can get many variations from the same LUT and you can create your own specific cinematic look. If you want, you can also create your own LUTs. Let us see how to make LUTs. For the image you are working on, make sure there is only one layer for the image and that is its background layer. You can see background written on the layer. If it is not a background layer, select the layer menu and click to open new and select background from the layer to change it. For saving your own LUT, it is essential to have a background layer and whatever you do, do it with adjustment layers. Now add a color lookup adjustment layer and select any LUT. I am selecting here AG Amber. I am reducing the opacity now. Now I am creating a new hue and saturation adjustment layer and moving its slider to create a new cinematic look. Now open the file menu, click on exports. Choose color lookup table. The LUT export dialog will open. Type the name of the LUT here and leave the rest to the default values. You may select maximum in quality, but the LUT file that will be created would be really large and usually a medium works perfectly. So choose here medium and check 3DL. Now just click OK and choose where you want to save your LUT file. I am selecting desktop and a new LUT has been created. You can see it on the desktop here. Now I'm deleting all layers by dragging them to dustbin at the bottom of layer panel so that I can show you the effect of the LUT we have just made after installation. Once again, load the color lookup adjustment layer Click to open 3D LUT and at the top you can see load 3D LUT icon. Click on it and browse the location where we have saved the LUT file. And then click on load. Now see your LUT has been loaded. Now just click on your LUT and see it has been applied on your image and its effect is same as you have saved. But this type of loading is temporary. This LUT will disappear as soon as you close the color lookup adjustment layer. So for permanently loading it, click Ctrl plus C to copy the LUT file, which we have saved at the desktop. Now open the preset in program files and paste your LUT file. For this, go to C drive. Open Program Files, click on Adobe and choose Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 and then open Presets, choose here 3D LUTs and press Ctrl plus V to paste the copied LUT. You will have to close and open the Photoshop to see this LUT in the list of saved. Now you can use it. In this tutorial, you have learned how to create and use LUTs for cinematic effects. Give it a try. Bye for now. Meet you in next tutorial. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Kindly subscribe and like our video channel for more interesting video tutorials. If you want to get notification about our upcoming tutorials, 
kindly press the bell icon see you again in the next tutorial goodbye and